Welcome back to the Resident Evil remake playthrough for the Chris scenario. And, uh, where the hell is my panda? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a rescue mission for, a uh, Bravo team. This is uh, my official hunt for my panda. For context, folks, go and watch Chris's special time with the Chris. panda in Resident Evil 6. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Like, this is such goofy shit. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Japan! Oh. oh, Chris, you're such a meme at this point. <laughs> Well, isn't everything a meme nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> memes. Memes everywhere. Bye, zombie. Well, yeah, you're going, going for the for shotgun, shotgun trap. Because I'm going to need it. Because uh, this game, folks, if you're, if you're a 1996 veteran, you're in for some major surprises and changes with this one. Well, for one thing, the long-term goal of the first mansion is not the Golden Crest. It's the four separate masks this time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I bet that for a lot of people off the first time. <laughs> for a, this was back in. This came out in March two thousand and two. Like God, damn. Yeah. <laughs> this game's so, eighteen years old. Uh, almost eighteen years old. Now, realistically, what you do there is you would take two books off the shelf and put, use them to put the weight down. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but that we don't think I'm sorry, and I don't think Chris is the intellectual type. Then again, all you need to do is just look at the architecture of this place, George Trevor. <laughs> no, no, just have Ada show up, he'll be motivated instantly. Ada! <laughs> no, it's like, seriously, you would find the architect would stop to question why he built this place. Right. About that, actually, yeah. uh... Like, mansion like this, maps per floor. At what point does Chris go, Plus, there's something fucking wrong with this place. Plus, I don't know why that room is so special that it needed a booby trap for a shotgun. You guys talk about, like, why is it built that way? Like, Umbrella specifically hired, I believe it was George Trevor? He was, yeah, he was the architect of this mansion. Nice. I got a shotgun. <laughs> I love the shotgun. All right, but once you blow off his, its head, it's not it's coming it, back. No crimson it's head. not coming back as a crimson head. If you're wondering where that I got a shotgun's from, it's from the original Japanese cast intro from the original Resident Evil. Oh, uh, that's some bullshit. Your chance to blow a zombie's head off is 60%, I believe, with the shotgun. But it is really annoying that. It can just not happen at all. Yeah. Like any original Resident Evil on PS One, when you aimed up with a shotgun, that fucker's head was going <laughs> pop. That's stuttering when he's got the gun. It's like he's woo 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 woo. Uh, uh, I gotta aim up. What do, do I aim up or down? Wait, what is? How do I use this? <laughs> <laughs> First Redfield of the RPD. No, it's just he acts like that when he goes to the typewriter. Yeah, yeah like, the, I love that joke in the. Like, it saves player. your game, but it's all gibberish. Yeah, no. <laughs> And for context, folks, go watch the Super Game Brothers play for the original Resident Evil. Those guys are amazing. <laughs> Especially Matt with his extensive knowledge and humor. This will be their last year on uh, the channel, though, so give, give, give them a whole bunch of subscribers, folks. Like, go subscribe to them. They've That's come right, a long take way. the subscribers we after have and then get done. them to done. After <laughs> you finish watching this, of course. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, uh, I don't know what I was doing with that handgun. I don't know whether to aim up or down. Speaking of aiming, actually, uh, you have three levels of aim with uh, Classic Resident Evil. Med, high, or low. You want to aim high for targets like, maybe flying targets like the bat in Resident Evil Zero. Med will generally hit just about any target across a room. But lower targets like the liquors in Resident Evil 2, you got to aim down. To hit them. Also, I want to point out another difference between Chris and Jill here is the each, each character has a unique item that's specifically to them. Chris here has a lighter, which is good for you know dealing with the zombies here. Jill has the lockpick, so she has to find the lighter as a separate item. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, Chris again excels at the combat because he doesn't have to waste a slot to use the lighter. He only needs the kerosene can, the kerosene flask, which you can refill at any time. As long as the the canteens are not empty. <laughs> That's stuttering, man. <laughs> it's like, do, 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 do. Yeah. I'll say this right now. Best best voice for uh, Chris Redfield. Easily run for Smith. Oh, Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Don't know why they didn't bring it back at 7, but okay. I really hope that was just a one-time thing. Like, <laughs> look at Devil May Cry 5. They brought Johnny and Bosch down south for Ruben Langdon back. So it's like... What's going on with Resident Evil? <laughs> yeah. They shuffle the cast around so much in Resident Evil. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling. <laughs> RPD, what is that? RPD, what does that mean? Real police dude? <laughs> or real pizza dude? Hi, <laughs> I'm the pizza man! <laughs> As Jack Setsky has already told us, real proud dad. Oh yeah. Oh, aye. What, Chris is already a father at this age? <laughs> uh, wait, what? 
I'm assuming he's about 23 at this point. I haven't even proposed to Jill yet. Yeah, and, the, uh, this is the last door you have to unlock. How do they know they don't know? How do they know that they no longer need the key? They don't. The game does. <laughs> We're going down, down into the kitchen where the ruthless bastard yes, lives. Sir. They know they don't need it because the god known as Capcom tells them. <laughs> oh, you would come down in this area way well, later in the, in, the in the original, yeah. I think you came down here once the hunters were in play in the original. Speaking of the hunters, those little ba those fuckers were nerfed in this game. And thank fuck, because they were absolute bullshit in the original Resident Evil. But they still have their insta-kill attack. You have time to stop it, though, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the original where he could just fucking run up to you and get like invincibility on their jump attack and cut your head off there yeah. you go that's what to do make them go ring around a rosy around the table this bastard who entered the room is ruthless so let's avoid him also here's another tip see if the zombies lying on the ground and bite your leg just leg grab you because i think you can stop the head not if you're going for a specific trophy where you have to beat the game using only the knife this game's got a awesome, got a got a really challenging trophy list. Actually, one of the trophies is die for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I did everything in this game without dying. The first death trophy was my last trophy for the platinum. <laughs> that I think that should like tell you how much experience I have with this. <laughs> and you try and guess what the what I did for my first death trophy. You blew up the mansion with Forrest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. No, I, I thought you were going to say... No, do you know what shit? If I'm going down, you're coming with me. I shot him with a rocket launcher. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, uh, rocket launcher will no, save you me. Should, Boom. No, you should have oh, done... Fuck. No, you should have done by... You should have de done death by bees. <laughs> it's up the fuck of bees. <laughs> yes, that is an actual, like, song online, folks. Like, someone took the... It's up to be square and replaced a bunch of the lyrics with, like, Fuck, and it's like some of the most brain dead, goofy shit you'll ever see on YouTube. Right, on you go. You can go out the front door, by the way, for those who think logic is the best way to go about things. If you attempt to go out the front door, <laughs> the character will try and open the door, and uh, one of the dogs will jump in, and it will run around as an enemy. All right. In the original, it was just a jump scare. Yeah. Don't do that, though, because uh, you need to save as. Oh, the sometimes Forest will either spawn on the left or right hand side of the area. No, and he, by the way, fuck that statue. Well, <laughs> the thing about Forrest and all is that he's got the speed of a crimson head, but the damage output of a regular zombie. If you have your defensive item set to auto, they will, as a fail safe, <laughs> so you don't blow yourself up for an instant game over, they're disabled when he grabs you. If Forrest get, grabs you, you are taking damage, so be careful with that. Do you imagine if, they, if they've left and put that feature in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if crimson heads can attack Forrest and, kill, and cause a game over. That would be bullshit. <laughs> nah. Most again, of the time when Forrest shows up, there's no other enemies for the most part. Again, I love the atmosphere, how deep and dark it looks compared to... Especially when you look at the original. See, if you look at the original, you can't help but think to yourself... It's so bright. It's, this is a surprisingly <laughs> well-lit mansion that's been abandoned for a couple of years. Aye. Uh, like, God, man. The, also, the lighting. Aye, uh, top-notch. Aye. Uh, they would use quite a bit of this engine for, like, Resident Evil 4 as well. There's a few, like, animations. Like, uh, the regular animation where if you die and fall to your knees, they copy-paste that for Leon if he dies to a normal attack at RE4. <laughs> no, and we know that when they probably won't do this because of the success of Remake 2, but can you imagine if they actually took what they did in terms of visuals of the Remake 2 and then remade the first game again? Th this is perfect. No, I don't think they need to touch us. Like, this is, this is the absolute pinnacle of survival horror for me. This is my favorite yeah. classic Resident Evil in the series. Yeah. Well, I think I'm just saying this, but with yeah. modern graphics. With, like, Remake 2. And, and its controls, like, and the camera yeah. behind the over the shoulder yeah. rather than tank controls. You might not need to, or will particularly want that scene, but if it came out, would you not play it? Yeah, right to your face. <laughs> yeah, just what you just saw, what you saw in the item box there, uh, there was an infinite handgun. To unlock the infinite handgun, finish the game in under five hours. And I that, think it has a slightly faster firing rate as well. Yeah, because it's basically a, a Samurai Edge model of Barry Allen. No, not Barry Allen. <laughs> Barry, Barry Burton. The Flash. <laughs> now, our first long-term goal, in order to continue making progress towards it, we have to go out that door I just unlocked with the old key, but not just yet, because... You need a dog whistle. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, fuck you! Oh, now, that statue there, you don't ever have to push it. 
to get the blue gem to drop, it will actually already be on the floor, on the bottom of the dining hall once the hunters come into play. Oh. Probably like the hunters are rampaging throughout the mansion oh. at that point. I never knew that. I thought you yeah, always had to push it off. Oh, good cut. <laughs> yeah, I've cut out anything that's padding when oh, nothing oh, happens. Oh, trust me, folks. We have not seen the worst of backtracking Resident Evil. Wait till we get to Code Veronica. <laughs> I mean, but bad news is that you're stuck with the PAL version of that game. Oh. I'll explain more about that pesh when we get to it. <laughs> yes. yes, I imagine you have quite a bit to say about it. Yeah. Now, this no here is basically telling you what he's done, what this scientist has done to the dog. Basically, he's attached a, a specific item to an animal that he likes. But can you imagine the quick notes version of this? Use this dog whistle to get the coin from the dog that likes you. Be careful with the other dog, though. That one hates your guts. guts. <laughs> <laughs> one of these dogs is nasty, the other's a prick. This was something that stumped a lot of people the first time they played it, because this was not in the original at all. Like, of course, uh, of course, we can't have a cow gaming commentary without the cat. Hey, Melly. <laughs> Here's a here's a file like talking about the healing properties of the herbs in the universe. Yeah, there's there was three types of herbs in this game: the red one, the green one, and a blue one. Hmm. Blue blue herbs are used to cure poison. Some men, certain enemies like the snakes and spiders can spit at you, and that will cause poison status. If you get hit with poison status, God help you, because <laughs> if you don't have a blue herb, it will it will not kill you. But so the way to heal in this is to smoke weed. Yes. <laughs> Every day. Well, realistically, what they're doing is like well, realistically, what they're doing is like a patch to just put it over the wound. But because we're in America, right. smoke. Yeah. <laughs> this works. So I put it the wheel. What was I explaining? Nah. What, what was I explaining there? And damn it, Sean, you threw me off. It was about, it was poison about stats. Poison stats. Yeah. Poison stats will not kill you, but it will drain you straight down to danger. It will drain you to one HP as well. Doesn't it? <laughs> so doesn't it depend on the type of poison though? Yon's poison, the giant snake. Yeah, it's a giant ass snake in the mansion, by the way. That poison will kill Chris if you fuck up a certain part later. And it, but I think Jill gets a free pass on that. She passes out, and Barry, I think, takes her to the safe room. Oh, here we go. This bit's difficult I with the dogs. Part. Yeah, the yeah, dogs are you. bad. Yeah, I, the dogs are bad asses in this game. You, Cerberus, are, they're one of the most effective BOWs Umbrella I've ever made. Yeah. <laughs> also, what, they're... Cerberus, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, they're Cerberus, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Dante's just like, cute. <laughs> Believe me, it's much easier because I'm using the alternate controls, but if you're using the tank controls, oh, Lord, help you. Because the yeah. dogs, as you see there, they have much greater range of movement than you do. Because if you're, like, stuck in the original GameCube version, version folks, there were no alternate controls. <laughs> so you were stuck with tank controls back then. Uh, you, I'm playing this off the PS4 Origins uh, Collection, which bundles Resident Evil Zero and Remake. That's how I recorded Zero. And with that, we have an imitation of a key. So we got a fake key from a dog collar. You guys are probably wondering, wait, what? What do we need this for? There is a trap on, uh, like I believe it's the third floor. It's very elaborate trap just for a key that mm. will kill you immediately if you don't have the means to counter it. Like, we'll see. What happened? Uh, Oh, come on! <laughs> like, nope, I think nope, I nope, might nope. have panicked there and went and went into that door on impulse, because there, there are a few times where I derp and at some point in this playthrough where I'm like, just standing there, and I'm like, uh, did I forget something? <laughs> oh, he's one to cap it. He's one to give you a hug. He's one to give you a big kiss. Too bad I don't. I was just thinking, nope, bad touch, bad touch. If I had more shotgun ammo, his kappa would be detated. Buck up, sweetie, buck up. How about no? No, Jill's the only one for me. Oh, you cheap bitch. Knowledge is power. Use it. It's like, what was it? More Kombat 3, the original arcade role, like, the original menu role for it. That, that, that's a crimson head coming right up. Yep. Oh dear. Be free, motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Yeah, give me the critical head shot after I've already wasted the shell. Thanks, game. <laughs> <laughs> this is down, though. Alright, once you kill them as a crimson head, they won't come back. But they're fast, motherfucker. They, they full on sprint towards you. Yeah. <laughs> they do not fuck around. And they've not got those foot long claws for nothing. Yeah, they yeah. slash at you. They deal quite a bit right, more damage. So they're the precursors to the liquor. The liquors, yes. Yeah, they won't. Although we never see that end game, unfortunately. Like, but you only read it. You read it through files and all that. Can you imagine if it was zombies mutated on the spot and remake two into liquors? This, no, uh... this is a very elaborate trap for a key. What if you have a locked door that needs this shit? What are you gonna do? Put the fake key back on the pedestal here, or you will die. So, sir, so Spencer, we need the block. We need the mansion key to get into the bathroom. Funny. Oh fuck! I hope you got the imitation key. <laughs> Funny thing there. If you, if you do just stand there and do nothing, like. 
the the the, fi the statue with the spike there it goes towards you and the camera sort of hides what happens you get impaled but if you listen very closely you can hear the sound effects of them falling to the ground as if they like fall to their knees <laughs> and ground so it's like they hide the regular death animation by trying to make it look more <laughs> epic or something yeah, yeah. On we go into this mansion. Yeah, you can see how the crimson head's gone. Yep, we're good. Uh, I'll deal with you later. And by that you mean never. <laughs> yeah, I gotta find my panda first. <laughs> That's what, how Chris solves his problems. <laughs> Just solves his panda by releasing his pet panda around the so mansion. so desperate to see the panda again. Now you just heard that door open? That'll be forest, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I can hear the grenades. It can also sure. be the regular Echo. zombies that come through the door as well. Some of them are scripted to go through certain doors. But once the but do. for force once the hunters are into place, That's he, he's gone. gone. It's gone. really it's he only appears in the technically the first half of the mansion. That would have been cruel as fuck if you had to deal with him along with the hunters. No, what if you do all this for the first half of the mansion, then you do the hunter section when he's gone, and then he suddenly appears in the lab. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Didn't I give you the slip back in the mansion? <laughs> oh, apparently not. God, I love the same thing in this game. Too bad we won't listen for five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> that will not be the only time I'm in the save room, obviously, because uh, the save rooms are obviously the safest places in the game. <laughs> so uh, they're the they're good to get your bearings or like go back to for the item box to if you want to plan your next move. What are you doing? I don't know. I think. I... <laughs> what are you yeah, doing, Pastor well, Steven? Well, uh, aforementioned dirt moments. I think <laughs> I might have been planning my route ahead because, uh, folks, if you don't know what you're doing in this game, it will murder you. <laughs> like you really need to be on your you. The best, like the thing about classic Resident Evil, it rewards efficiency. As like uh, the best, like. Saving ammo is the absolute key. Handgun ammo there, fuck that. Uh, after uh, a certain point, I won't be using the handgun at all. Ah, uh, keep his diary. This is the most um, well-known file. In fact, Steve they, was the winner. <laughs> in fact, they brought this file back in Lost in Nightmares DLC yeah. for Resident Evil 5, exactly word for word. Yeah. But okay, the reason why it's everyone's favourite, it's the last sentence, folks. We'll get to it when we get to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, like, it looks like a bunch of... This is, the, this is how, you, if you didn't know about the story back in the day, this is how you would piece it all together. Yeah. Like, the researchers... This is the diary of a researcher who has been infected with the T-virus and his skin is actually peeling off. Ooh. And bit by bit, he's succumbing to the effects of the T-virus. And then for itchy tasty. <laughs> like, he is a zombie when he's writing that, at that point. And I'm totally sure we're safe. That pre-rendered cupboard isn't going to be... I'm a lion fucker. Hello. <laughs> There's an old key, I believe. But yeah, I'm right gonna have there. to kill him as a result. Ah, oh, come on. You see that? I hate it when it doesn't instant kill. But isn't that because you're playing on hard difficulty? I No, it's a 60% chance, I believe, with the shotgun, no matter what. There are two types of shotguns in this game. You have the basic shotgun, which I'm using there, and the assault shotgun. That's it. Oh, the assault shotgun is a beast. I think it does a little less damage. But it holds more ammo. Yeah, just like the shot, the other shotgun in Resident Evil Zero. Right. This one you're going to have to you, for this puzzle you're going to need the bag of chemicals. Yeah, and you might want to make sure you've done everything on this part of the mansion up that you can possibly do up to this point because when you come back out through that door there, there's going to be a rather basically big welcoming committee. Basically, in this room, folks, there's a an ivy plant. As Stephen will show off, there's see those tentacles there. They'll but whack you. If they'll whack you if, when you're trying to go by because there's a mask by there. Yeah. To get rid of that, put, put the chemicals here, and then turn the valve red. If you turn green, you'll end up killing the herbs. Yeah. Right. Herbs are your lifesavers in these games. They, they. If you, if any of you guys have played a Resident Evil by now, you probably know that they restore your health. But you can combine them with different types to increase the potency of them. Essentially, like if I combine three greens. On the spot right here. That's a full health restore. Full heal. The same goes for combining the red and the green. The red one is useless on its own. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Until remake two, where you could, where you could combine it with a blue, and finally use it without a green. Right. <laughs> the first time in the series you could do it actually. And here's the first of the death masks yep. that we're gonna need. Ah, uh, this is the the problem with Chris though is that, again the inventory. You're gonna be making a lot of trips back to the item box. The item boxes are all interconnected unless. It, if you're not playing on real survival. 
Oh, we get out of there. Fuck the shit I'm out. <laughs> It's like any time Nelson shows up, it's like, bye! Yeah. <laughs> no, he bursts through the door, holy shit, rocket launcher! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> or he just cheese him with a bookshelf. Yeah. They probably won't be able to do that <laughs> in remake. I'll three. be amazed if they keep that in the remake. I can't. That's not the time that's oh, recording. Or you're going to take it out, you try and do it, and it looks like it's going to work, and then he just goes, my floor. Because <laughs> the time that's recording, folks, so like. Two I've, months away. Uh, remake free. Holy shit. Just, I cannot fucking wait. So don't be surprised if, even though Steven said the next game would be called Veronica in terms of Resident Evil, yeah. don't be surprised if we end up doing a bonus jump into Resident Evil 3. Yeah, we're absolutely <laughs> doing remake 3, because, like, no way are we missing out on that. So, yeah. I still don't know, I don't really know how to use my weapons, and I sure shit don't know how to use this thing. We'll figure that out later. See you guys And later. no sign of the panda. <laughs>